Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I run the blog Life from the Viola section.com where I share my favorite practice tips, general advice, and tech for musicians. Today I'm going to talk you through some time management tips specifically for music majors. So as music majors, it can feel like we have so many deadlines, just a million things to practice for, homework assignments, papers to write, teachers to meet with. There's so much to get done and just incorporating some time management strategies into your routine can really, really help you relax and just know that everything is going to get done and everything's going to be okay and you're going to get through school. Well, let's dive into the tips. My first tip is to schedule everything in advance. So figure out what exactly your schedule is gonna be like, when you have practice time each day, when you're gonna go to lunch, have dinner, when you can get your homework assignments done and when exactly your classes are, how that is all gonna fit together. It doesn't have to be super strict and rigid, but if that works for you, then great, do that. But I liked to plan everything about a week in advance, just knowing what my week was gonna look like, what I was going to accomplish that week, and just how it was all going to work out. That really set my mind at ease, knowing that I have a time to finish this assignment, I have time to practice this piece for orchestra, I have time to get everything done that I need to get done, because <laughs> there's a lot to get done. But to create a schedule, you need some kind of calendar system that works for you. I have gone through so many different like planner systems, I've used Google Calendar, paper planners, Trello boards, my iPad, just so many different organization systems and they all have pros and cons. Right now I'm using a Google Calendar and Trello boards primarily. Um, I basically have like a weekly to-do list on Trello and then I have um, to do, doing, and done. So I list everything that I need to do in the to-do column and then once I start doing it I move it over and then when I'm finished it moves to done and then every week I archive the done uh, list so that it's gone and I start the week fresh and that's kind of worked um, otherwise I just use Google Calendar for like a visual calendar where I write down when I'm teaching all of my other commitments and everything like that but I think I'm gonna start using my iPad again just to kind of write and plan things a little better than just putting events in a Google Calendar. So my advice would be to try anything and everything until you find some kind of calendar system that works really well for you and doesn't stress you out and you don't have to think too hard about it. If you're a bullet journaler, cool, do that. It takes a lot of time though and, and if it stresses you out then I don't know if it's worth it, but on the flip side, if you like Google Calendar where you just make an event and it stays there and you get notifications, that works too. Just Experiment with different things and see what works the best and really sets your mind at ease where you know like, okay, my schedule is set and I can just look here and see what I'm doing. It's all ready to go. My third tip is to use a practice journal. If you've been here for a while, I recently made a video where I gave you a look into all of my old practice journals. I highly recommend starting a practice journal so that you can see the visual progress that you make. Once I started keeping a practice journal, I found that I could see visually that I was putting in the work and I was getting better and I could look at the entries and see like a month ago I was focusing on this but I've gotten better at that and now I'm focusing on this. It was just an easy way to confirm with myself that I was actually getting work done and I was actually doing things. But aside from that you can plan your practice sessions in practice journals. If that's something you like to do ahead of time that can help keep you on track for the week. You can keep track of your progress, you can make notes from your lessons so that you remember exactly what your teacher told you and exactly what your teacher wants you to work on. It can be so helpful and it is such a great tool to help keep you on track, keep you focused, and I found that once I started keeping a practice journal, my sessions were much more focused and driven because I knew exactly what I needed to work on and I was just that much more in the zone because I was writing things down and it felt a lot more structured. So I feel like I really bumped up my productivity in practice sessions once I started writing down what I was actually doing. My fourth tip is to set time limits on tasks. There's an idea called Parkinson's Law where the work that you do expands to fill up the amount of time that you have to do it. So if you have two weeks to write a paper, it's going to take you two weeks. But if you give yourself like two days, it'll take two days because that's how long you have to do it. So setting time limits can be a really efficient way to get work done quickly. You tend to be more focused and more productive in these short bursts of time. It doesn't work for everyone, but it's something fun to play around with. So I've done this in the practice room by choosing 
a little excerpt of music that I have to learn and setting a timer for like 10 or 15 minutes and I have to complete that goal in 10 or 15 minutes and that's about how long it takes. Sometimes it takes a little longer and I come back to it later and set another timer and bump up the goal a little bit, but I found that it really does work in practice sessions. You can also do this with homework assignments, giving yourself like an hour to complete a worksheet or whatever it is that you have to do. and. Hopefully that's just the time it's going to take, and then you don't have to worry about it over days and days and days. If you're working really, really hard and efficiently in a short amount of time, you're going to really tire yourself out, and you need to take some time off, even if that's 5 or 10 minutes. Short breaks are really, really good for our minds, and they help us de-stress. So I've found that I'm pretty good at building breaks into my practice sessions, you know, once, once I start getting a little tired or mentally fatigued, I just take a break and I don't think about music for a few minutes. And then I feel refreshed when I come back to it and it helps build up my stamina. But I feel like as musicians we only really do that with practice sessions and not homework or studying or other tasks that we have to do. So build breaks into your tasks and see if that helps to keep you from feeling burned out. My final time management tip today is to set goals for yourself. These can be really tiny goals or really big goals, somewhere in between. You can choose as many as you want, but just having a few goals can really help keep you motivated and writing them down and creating a plan to actually complete those goals will really help keep you motivated and on the track to finish that goal, whether that is to eat breakfast before your 8 a.m. class or if it's to maintain a 3.8 GPA, something like that. Build in actionable steps for yourself so that you can actually get that accomplished. So if you want to eat breakfast, maybe you can plan to have something ready to go in the morning that you can just pick up and eat on the way to class or something. For your GPA, maybe you need to get an A in one class and at least a B in another. So you know that you need to complete your homework assignments or maybe get a tutor to help you raise your grade in a certain class. Figuring out what you want to accomplish and finding the steps that you need to take to actually accomplish that will help you put into perspective what you actually do and don't need to prioritize and then that in turn can help your time management. So these were just a few time management skills that helped me when I was a music major. I loved my time in music school so much. If you are interested in majoring in music and you don't really know where to start with applications or auditions, I am offering three free spots for college slash grad school audition check-ins where we meet over Zoom and we talk about whatever you are stressing about, whether that is application requirements, audition requirements, choosing audition repertoire, if you want a mock audition. We can really talk about anything and everything that will help set your mind at ease and help you really excel at your audition for music school, whether that is for undergrad or for grad school. The link to sign up for your free check-in is in the description box. I would love for you to sign up and to meet you. Let me know if there are any other time management tips that have been useful for you down in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts and learn something new today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I post new musical videos every Sunday at noon Eastern time. Thanks for watching.